Guten Tag, Observer, and welcome to my Let's Play of Sid Meier's Pirates. In the last episode, um, I basically went through the fundamentals of the game, um, where we talked about where we talked to the governor, and got our first mission, um, got a reward for that mission, which was um, actually nothing. <laughs> we didn't even get to become captain yet, um, but they told us we're well on our rank, uh, well on our way to increase our rank. Um, also told about the taverns and everything, and we uh, got a ship to surrender to us the its cargo, and we sold it here um, at the merchant, selling as luxuries, which gave us up into the thousands of gold, but I decided to upgrade my ship with that gold, and so we're down back to where we were. Okay, and um, as I mentioned, we are... I'm not really into this area of the map um, so I'm going to go ahead and travel south um, right here's the map down here in the corner um, I'm going to go ahead and sail, uh, sail to Caraco and from here um, I'm thinking we're going to attack um, Spanish shipping through here okay Antigua English smuggler. Okay, um, this game, you, you spend most of the time sailing around. Um, there is an advantage um, to wind um, direction. For example, right now I'm sailing with the wind. Does it have my knots anywhere? No, it doesn't have my speed. But if I sail away from it, I slow down. And I can also hitch a ride from a cloud, like so. Well, obviously, the wind brought by the cloud. So now I'm racing towards uh, Caraco. Spanish smuggler. Oh, Ugh, come on. Okay, let's... Oh, this is bad. Let's get up here. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and attack the smuggler. He's got a lot of men, but we outgun him. So let's see if we can take him without getting hit too badly. Oh yeah, skillful art artistry of dodging here. Oh, he damaged our sails. And we were going to damage his sails, but my men decided to shoot not high enough. They're shooting high enough though. This is not working out too well for me. And now he's going to ram me. Okay. So, this is our first um, melee battle on the seas. And I'm going to choose a long sword. Um, each weapon um, has a specialty, um, which it, obviously it says here, quick attack, swallow, defense. And what that means is that um, the rapier is allows you to attack quickly, but if you need to employ a diff uh, defensive maneuver, you do it slower than you would with the cutlass, which the cutlass, it attacks slow, but you're able to defend yourself faster. I don't really know the logic behind that, really, but, um, I mean, I guess a rapier, if you only have a point to dodge with, whereas, well, to parry with, whereas a cutlass, you have this big wide blade to help block with. And uh, the weight differential will help you block a blade. I guess that's it. But I don't know why it would be faster. <laughs> but oh well. Uh, it's a game, so we'll just go with it. I like to go with the long sword because I like um, pretty much balance between the two. Basically, um, let's see. I'm being a little bit aggressive here. Mainly, I'm just stabbing forward at this point. This is, I think it's being nice to me. Because... This is my first fight. The game likes to be nice to you the first time you do something, but it gets harder as it goes, um, which is nice. Um, let's see. So we we won our first melee combat. Um, if you didn't notice, there was fights going on in the background. There was also an advantage bar. I wish the fight was long enough so I can explain it. Um, and basically, if the advantage bar goes too far one way, um, if it goes towards your men, then that means that your men are dying faster than the other men. Um, so, 
it's good to try to keep the advantage bar in the middle and you do that with various things on the side but anyway let's let's continue um, one of the Spanish crewmen is a skilled navigator increase your fleet speed he is quickly persuaded to join your crew that is appreciated okay so we got spices that's about it take all leave nothing okay so we're gonna keep her to haul this stuff and make her way back down here let's see check to make sure we're going in the right direction yes we are my crew are happy we have 16 months of food gained a lot of money on that one and um, a month just went by every time you hear a ding that means that a month has gone by which becomes important later on as you get older oh going way too far down south let's go up here let's see I do like the graphics here I mean some is like I said in other let's plays I'm I, I'm easily impressed with graphics um, like it doesn't take a lot to for me to think something's prettier or something like that the graphics in this game are a little bit outdated I will admit that and they were probably outdated in 2004 when this game came out but um I think the story um, well not really the story but the gameplay of this game totally makes up for that okay so we just arrived in Caraco population 640 <laughs> The wealthy merchants of Caraco are usually looking for spices and sugar. Well, the merchant's gonna be in store because we just sunk it. Well, we just got a ship full of spices. So we're making mad money right now through the economy here. Um, basically, one way to play the game is you can play it as a merchant and um, um, get items, buy them at one port, and sell them at another. Um, there's usually games themselves that expound upon that principle um, that I also like playing, but I'm not going to make that the focal point of this Let's Play. Um, when there's a lot of other interesting things you can do in this in this game in comparison to that, but it's nice to have a little game within the game. Okay, so we're going to get some more crew here. Uh, eager band of 38 men offered to join the crew. Uh, that's appreciated. Let's go ahead and buy that this time. In the vicinity, vicinity of Kumana. Thank you. Skilled quartermaster aboard the Alhambre Colgado. I believe she's a Spanish sloop bound for Caraco. We might get that quartermaster. So he's going to be coming on this side. That's cool. Have you met the governor of Caracas' daughter? She's a real beauty. Nope, probably not going to meet her either, because she's Spanish. Okay. Not that I have anything against Spanish women, it's just... Um, I'm the Dutch and they're at war with Spain. As you can see here. And the slimy French. Captured a Spanish brigantine, and I've captured a French ocean broke. I already got. Already mentioned that later. You'll be promoted to captain soon. Okay. Let's see. Let's go ahead and repair my boat. Sell this ship. Get some copper plating. I don't really know what that does. I assume it either makes you stronger or makes you move faster. One of the two. That that would sound really expensive now that I think of it. Okay, so what else can I do? Not much. Okay, so I'm going to take off and transporting new governor. I'm not going to worry much about that. What boat are you? Alhambre. Okay, we need to attack this boat here. Come on. Oh, come on. We're really slow. We're not going to make it. 
He's gonna get to port before we do. That's okay. We failed. I should have turned around and used the wind to help me. Puerto Cabello. Got a new governor. Oh. Hello. Yeah, let's go ahead and sink this trade guy. Now, see, I c usually I like to come in from the lower right because now I have the wind against me. So I'm probably going to have to withdraw from this battle. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm withdrawing. <laughs> this is bad. Bad idea. Let's evade that. Yeah. I cannot, um... Fight this guy right now. So I'm going to escape. Should have planned that out a little bit better. Okay, there we go. Now I have a um, brigantine, a brig brigantine. Getting used to rolling my R's, unfortunately. Um, well, I guess it is fortunate in one regard. Oh, I almost slammed into a reef. Um, and a brigantine is actually a pretty nice ship. All the other um, nations start out with a sloop, but the Dutch start with a brigantine, which I really, really like um, because it has the most guns. It can have up to 24 guns, I believe. Whereas the other ones can only have 16 or something like that. But it is a little bit, it's less maneuverable in a way, but I still like it. Okay, so, let's take down this trade galleon. We got ourselves in a good position. Definitely not close enough to use my shot here. But we'll fix that in a second. Whoop. Use our speed to swing by. Go down. Hit him again. Come back over. Use our speed to turn. Miss. <laughs> Get a little bit far away from him in case he decides to broadside us. Turn into him. Oh, he's already surrendered. Okay. Don't have to worry about it. Okay, to tell a ship has surrendered, you'll see that these top, this top flag and the and, uh, aft flag um, are white when they're usually the nation's colors. Okay, they strike colors and surrender. Good ship. Okay, so they got some food and tons of sugar. Which is good. We'll keep her and sail her to port. Oh no, a raider. I don't think I'm strong enough to attack a raider yet, unfortunately. Get away from my port. Okay, so. Gonna sell some stuff here. Looking good, looking good. Gaining some money. I'm gonna sell this ship. Yep, I'm sure. This is the tavern. Get a swarm in. I wish we could have gotten more than five. Eluthra. No, we're not interested in Eluthra. What do you got? Treasure fleet headed for... Cartagena. With fortune. Note that in my log. Said the same thing last time, man. Let's talk to the governor. You know we are at war with, with the evil Spanish and slimy French. The king will be pleased. I am pleased to promote you to the rank of captain. Congratulations. As a result, crew recruiting will be easier in Dutch ports, which I really needed. The governor's daughter is attractive and enters the room. You're quite handsome. Perhaps you, uh, when you have achieved the rank of colonel, you could escort me to the grand ball. I would love to, ma'am. But for now, it is time for us to sail away and plunder some more. Dun, 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 dun. There's supposed to be a treasure galley coming through here sometime. Ooh, look at 
Um, Indian nation. They might become useful. Spanish Raider. I can't really attack that yet. What's this? Trade Galleon? Don't mind if I do. Oop. Okay. Using the wind to come in on them as fast as possible. Dodging stuff. Okay, we're out of his broadside range. Oh man. Okay, we're still out. And he surrendered. Simple as that, folks. Simple as that. More sugar. Another boat. Time to go back to Caracas and... Um... Wow. Leave my port alone! You can see we we lost a rampart here. Which is probably going to happen again. <laughs> but that's okay. We, there's nothing we can really do about it now. But there possibly will, will be in the... Soon. Welcome aboard, mates. Yes, tell me what you know about Caracas. Luxuries. Let me check our market. We're better at luxuries and spices, so Caracas is useless to us. Okay. Well. Let's see. I think this might be a good stopping point for this episode. Mm, nah, let me sink some more ships. <laughs> oh, I forgot to sell my ship. That's okay. We'll be fine. Oh, now they're guarding them? That's unfair. Hmm. Come on. There we go. Let's see if we can attack him before. Hmm. I'm afraid if I attack him right now. This other ship is going to um, come in after me. So I am going to uh, wait till the other guy leaves. I'm going to come up here and basically wait for this ship. Let's see if he's going to wreck himself. Nope. And then I'm going to see if I wreck myself. Nope. Okay, and now we're going to attack him. That was a close one. Now I'm getting very close to his broadside. I'm gonna swoop around underneath him. Oh, and now he's gonna broadside me. Took all but two. Gonna have to hit, get hit with another broadside here in a second. crew are gonna die before I get done with this. Oh, oh no. That was a mistake. Oh well. I accidentally rammed into him. It was a little slow. Oh. He's blocking like a madman now. Stop blocking, bro. There we go. Oh no, his arm's on fire. Run, run, run. Now, I almost won that without um, beating him because he started to run out of crew. 
Ooh, that's a lot of goods. Okay. And um, if they run out of crew, then you automatically win because then your pit men can just surround him and um, I guess he has reservations against being pummeled to death. Um, so, they surrender. Look at those sails, poor ship. Okay, now we're at port. We're going to uh, sell one of these ships. They're both trade, ga trade galleons. I'm gonna sell this one. I'm gonna repair this one. Mm. And then we're going to sell. Making some gold. Okay, now this is a good point to stop this let's play. Um, in the next episode, I might be inclined to do um, something different. Okay, so now we have 100 men. Another part of his map. I really didn't need to buy that. But now we know where to find the treasure. So we might go after that treasure. Um, who knows? Unless you watch the next episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Pirates. See you there. Auf Wiedersehen.